I have been thinking so long if I even should talk about this because this happened in 2015 so it's been almost in a year and I was like maybe I should just leave it behind maybe these people grew up if the people change I don't see a point to talk about it anymore you know but last spring I was watching TikTok and I see a Finnish people like a video talking about these two people who make all the time drama up you know in a server and a club ball and are super like mean people bullying people and stuff i was like oh this sounds super familiar who are the names like i need to tell you that the comment section was full of people talking about these people and everyone was like yeah i know this i know this yeah i know right they're so annoying they're always bullying me and stuff and i was like okay so i had to put a comment where i asked who are the names they sound super familiar and then i get a comment oh, someone tells me that yeah it's it's this and this and i was like oh my lord it's been almost 10 years and they still keep going with this bullshit like seriously sorry i'm so sorry about swearing a lot but this this thing is super like it's not normal that you keep bullying people for 10 years you know it's not normal that for 10 years when you're over 18 already you keep bullying people on a horse game all day and now I'm gonna pull up with my own story time with these people because obviously they have not changed at all and they still keep going with this. And before we go to the story time itself, I need to give you a trigger warning because this story time will involve a lot of self-harming, depression and that stuff. So if you're very sensitive about this stuff, maybe you should not watch this video. I think it would be better for you. Anyways, let's hop on the story time itself. I'm so excited. And I need to give you some background information. I was 15, no, 14 years old. And this whole thing happened in 2015, so nine years ago. Oh my god, time goes so fast. And this whole thing did not last a week, a day, a month, because it lasted six months. I wasted six months for this bullshit. Don't mind the background noises, there's some people beeping and coughing in the background on outside. <laughs> I was 15 years old. I was in a, like a global server where there was a lot of Finnish people but also a lot of other like people. It was not a server for only for Finnish people. It was a lot of like, you know, international server where it was like people from everywhere from Europe at least. And I had a club and a lot of people, like especially Finnish people, had clubs. And you need to know that when it's a global server and Finnish people were like more like with, with themselves than with like other people from other countries. So there was a lot of competition between having clubs because everyone wanted to have a club. But there was not enough Finnish people for all of these clubs, you know? Because Finnish people were limited on that server. And it was pretty successful, actually. Like, I was very really proud. I had maybe, like, 37 members or something like that. So it was, like, more than half, like, the limited amount. It's so weird how the clubs work. Like, you have to have 50 members and then everyone wants to join in your clubs. And everyone is going from door and windows to get in your club when it's always full. And these were always the top tier clubs who were not in a drama. They were just full and everyone was looking up to this. If you had a club which was always full, you were the cool guy and everyone with medium clubs, for example, like I, ha I was, uh, we were watching these people up like there would be gods or something. It was so crazy to think. Like the clubs were some kind of self-boosting thing as well. So I was a club owner whose club was pretty successful. It started to like roll better and better and better. And then there was a person named Jennifer who was in the same situation as I. We both had like medium clubs who were just racing to get these members. And as I said, it was a lot of competition because there was not enough Finnish people to fill everyone's clubs for. I didn't like find other clubs as competition, you know, like I didn't hate them for having clubs. I didn't see them as enemies at all. I was just minding my own business, kind of. There comes a person to my club who is telling me that she was bullied in Jennifer's club like crazy and she wants to switch away like apparently Jennifer and her best friend or sister or something like that was bullying this girl like crazy in their club so she wanted to switch to mine. That was it. She was in my club. A next day or next days, Jennifer sends me a friend request. She started instantly messaging with me, but that was super normal in these times between Finnish people. She was kind of like asking me questions and talking with me, like getting to know me. And she was like, she was a bit weird. I remember I got weird vibes of her. She was kind of like passive aggressive, a bit mean, but not attacking me, you know. It was something weird. I just remember it to this day. 
days go and nothing really happens until Jennifer messages me again and she was like, oh, that was my person who joined to your club, why are you stealing my members? And I was like, what? She just wanted to join my club because she told me you bully her with your friend or sister or whatever. Jennifer went full attacking mode on me. She started to like threatening me, like seriously, on the Star Stable friend chat, that was so weird. And she started to tell me that she will beat me up when we meet in real life, so watch your back. Which is funny because even when I was 15 years old, I wasn't like feeling threatened or I wasn't like, you know, aggressive of it. I was just like, okay, sure. <laughs> and then she started to like go further and further. She starts insulting me, uh, insulting my character's look, which is funny because I think at that moment she didn't see me a single time yet. Now we go to the funny part. She goes further and further and trying to like make me mad and triggered and then she tells me when I see your star stable horses I will beat you up and this is like I don't I don't care that you say that you will beat me up in real life instead I was like full of what did you say how dare you like I get full threatened like I get full angry and mad and I'm like how dare you to insult how dare you to tell me that you will beat my star stable horses up when you see them like this was a moment I get super angry and I was like, my star stable horses didn't do anything to you, how dare you? And this was just so cringe when I think about it, I'm face bombing so hard right now. I got super mad and I was like super like, this person sucks. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, how dare you? I think I deleted her from the friend list and then I blocked her for a couple of days. But I had a weird habit that if I blocked someone, I always took it off for after a couple of days. Since I'm very like trying to fill my club up, you had to talk a lot of in club budget. You had to like promote your club all the time. And she did the same as well. So she could find me all the time, sometimes on the mobile chat because I was promoting my club and then she always sent me a friend request and started to insult either my promoting text or my in general just trying to have a beef with me and it was so clear that she saw me as an enemy because one of her club members joined to mine and it was like horrific event for her and she and me were like people who after school played for hours the game and on weekends we played it from morning to evening almost and she started to have a habit to start like the club I'll chat for me and every time I made like a club promotion she started to do all club promotion after me and trying to make it look better than mine it was so weird and then she was so mad if someone wanted to join my club instead of hers and then she started to have a habit that every time I talked in club I'll chat she started to send me a friend request or then just randomly sometimes did it from the church. And then she always wanted to be with me, sometimes I didn't accept it at all. So she sent her sister to go after me, like sending the friend request. Even her some club friends, like her club members started to spam me friend requests. It was so horrific, I could not like escape it at all, it was so annoying. So she started to basically haunt me with her club. And I also remember when I was in a call with my, at that time, best friend who we met in Star Stable and we played all day. We were chilling at the moorland and we were just in a voice call. So I see Jennifer haunting me in the club. I was like, where is she? Where is she? Can someone tell where she is? And I was like, I was talking in the club chat as well then and I was like, I'm here. And she was like, I'm gonna beat you up with my club. And I was like, oh my god, that's just so cringe. Like, why would you do that? And then she comes with her club and there was like 50 members, like seriously, it wasn't 5, it was seriously maybe 10 to 15, like seriously. And they all sat run around me on circle and they started to like, you know, what is the axe jump? Like, like attacking me? It was so weird and it was so cringe, I just remember it. And then they were like insulting me in a club I'll chat with her club. And I was like, oh my god, this is so cringe, like, I don't give a shit. I'm sorry about the swearing, but I don't give a shit. What do you do if you try to haunt me or like grieve me in Star Stable? Because you can literally do nothing about it. You cannot you cannot be a report player from the game. It's like it's so useless to do anything in Star Stable against someone. Because you cannot grieve anyone. Like if this have any red dead online, I would be shitting in my pants, like seriously. I would just run away and hide and you can like it ruins your game when people haunt you in other games, but Star Stable you cannot literally do it anything in there so i was like sure what is this this is so, so childish especially because jennifer told her age before to me and she said she was 14 of course i cannot confirm if it was true i think she was like 13 14 something like that now i just start to ignore jennifer and i'm like 
this is also childish like actually even for 15 years told me it was super childish what she was like beefing with me and it was so useless and stupid so i started to ignore her kind of and i was like oh my god always when she started to insult or mock me in a club i chat after i was promoting my club i just was like oh my god can you just leave me alone that's so childish like please i just found it so stupid and childish as i said so i just leave her alone it wasn't funny anymore at all it was just pure cringe at this point at some point a new player sent me a message and this account was level 5, 6, something like that. It was super fresh noob, but it had a star rider. This guy's name was Leonie and Leonie sends me a message where she says, can you join your club because I, I am in generous club. They just keeps bullying me all the time. And then she started to trash talk to me of them, like Jennifer and of her sister. And I'm like, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like Jennifer just haunts me all the time and she's so annoying. I just I, I just left it out. I didn't like insult her, you know. I wasn't like saying that she's an idiot or something. I was just, like, yeah, it's so annoying that she is like this. And we have a good talk about it. And Leonie tells that he is a nine years old boy who gets bullied in school and he's actually a cousin of Jennifer and they and her sister. Jennifer and her sister bullies him in the school as well. So Star Stable is kind of like safe place, but Jennifer introduced him to play it. And he he didn't want to be in Jennifer's club anymore because they were bullying him there as well. And I was like, oh my god, like this is so sad. No one should ever be bullied in school, like seriously. And Leonie was also opening up to me how he is like self-harming. You know, I, I will not go into details, but you know self-harming and that he's very depressed because of the bullying and I truly understood him. And we started to like super often talk with Leonie, like almost every day when we lock on the same time and he's like all the time opening up to me he's like how he's school bullied like he was always telling me how about how he was bullied in school and sometimes it's like how Jennifer and her sister were like throwing him around because they like to bully him because he's so young at some point he started to be maybe after two weeks he started to be a bit weird he started to be a bit aggressive not insulting or anything but it was obvious he did not want to talk with me anymore maybe after a week he started to be like that again this time that he's super lonely and he has no friends and stuff and I was like hey if you want you can hop in in a voice call in skype with me and my best friend at the moment so it was so weird like sometimes in global chat it was super common with between twins especially they said they might just put in a global chat hey anyone want to skype with me and there was always someone who wanted to join you and it was super common to talk with someone maybe only for once in a lifetime I was like, if you're lonely, you can join us, you know, you don't have to talk or anything, you can just listen if you want. It might even be his idea, but I don't remember correctly what happened anymore, because as I said, it's been almost 10 years. And he actually did. He hopped in a voice chat with us. He actually talks, and he also had a cam on, like on purpose. And I think it might be because my bestie at the moment likes to have a cam often on. I think he put the cam on as well because of her. He was like a different person, but there was a nine years old boy, like seriously, there was a nine years old boy with a cam on and he was giggling like crazy and there was someone else in the background as well who was giggling like crazy and he said it was his friend or something, I don't remember anymore, but this other person did not show him or herself at all. This nine years old boy was super weird, he was like being mean to us all the time, he did, he did not insult like my friend's look or anything, he was more like, like passive aggressive. When he says something the sentence comes normally but there's clearly something what he's trying to like insult us, like it was super weird and when I said something he didn't really clearly understand all the time but he was also kicking so much that you could just think that he was laughing so hard with that someone that that's why he did not understand what i was saying he stays maybe for 15 minutes and then he left so it was not a long call at all at some point he started to be like he starts to delay me from the friend list all the time and then he added me randomly it was super weird like this kept going maybe for 20 times like it was super often the thing lasted maybe three months that he kept doing this and then he also started to pop again between Jennifer's club to mine, forward and back, forward and back. And I was like, why? This is so weird. And then I started to talk with Leonie and I'm like, why are you going on your bullies club? Like, I don't care. You can, you don't have to be on my club, but don't join on your bullies club. Like, that's, why would you do that? And then he was like, yeah, Jennifer, they keep forcing him to do that. Or they will threaten him on real life to do something like they will throw him or hit him you know or something like that and i was like oh my god that's so fucked up at some day i lock this happened maybe a week later after the voice call i hop on game i remember it was a saturday morning 
and some of my club members instead sent me a message I have been waiting you so long to come online I need to tell you something and I was like yeah what what do you have to tell me and she said you know that Leoni was pulling people out of this club um, earlier today or yesterday I don't remember correctly what it was and I was like what yeah Leoni was insulting people in a club chat all the time and making them to quit the club and I was like are you fucking serious are you fucking serious I was like, are you telling me that there's a black sheep in my club who are making people to quit when I'm offline? Like working silent, like this is like among us at this point. And then she was like, yeah, that's what he's doing. And then I was checking my club members and there was seriously maybe three less people. So he really had done the work to get people to quit this this club. When I come back the same day, literally the same day, uh, my best friend at the moment was playing the game alone and I hopped with her, like it was maybe the same evening. And then she was like, you know that this Jennifer is insulting and blackmailing you in the club I'll chat all the time when you are offline and I was like, are you serious? And she even sent me screenshots. Like seriously, she even sent me screenshots of it. And Jennifer was really insulting and like whining off my club that there's like a lot of bullying happening in my club and you should not go there and this club owner doesn't do anything about it. And I was like, oh my lord, something is really happening here. And I instantly contact Leonie. He was de he deleted me from the friend list and I was like what is going on like are you serious right now and he was like yeah Jennifer forced me or something like that and he instantly switched it that yeah I tried to suicide I haven't been online for a day because I was in hospital oh my god what am I supposed to do at this moment like of course instantly I gave forgive him what he had done I was like oh my god that's horrific like oh my god can I help you some way or something and I felt so bad of him and I remember talking with my best friend that how am I supposed to reach this guy that I should not push him in a corner or ask too much it's just gonna be his support you know and I was like oh my god of course I was super shocked this seriously happened maybe 15 times like I'm not even joking he started to delete me from the friend list and adding me back delaying adding me back and I was like yo what's up why are you deleting me from the friend list and adding back like you don't have to add me back if you don't want to but I w would like to know if I offended you some way or something like why are you deleting and why do I keep going with this he was like like I do to suicide again and I was like oh my god like I was super sad and I was like you know you can always talk to me but I will not you push you and I was like all the time I was actually acting pretty mature with him even when I was 15 the still keeps going that he delayed me from the friends and ads again. And then I was like, how does, by the way, Jennifer know about the drama in my club? And he was like, oh yeah, he she forced me to tell me when my parents and when my family was visiting them. And I was like, oh my god, of course, of course, what did I expect? But since he was their cousin, you know, at some point again, this keeps going that he delays me again and adds me back. I didn't even add him anymore back or try to add or talk with him. He just met me randomly because he was playing a lot and I was playing a lot. So obviously very faced each other very often. Especially because 2015, there was not so many areas as there is nowadays. And at some point he adds me again for the last time again and I was like yeah what's up why what's going on and then he was like yeah I tried to suicide again because Jennifer made me reach to this point like she wanted me to kill myself and I really tried and I was like oh my god Jennifer then I like something in my in my head exploded I was so angry that 14 15 years old girl tries to push nine years old to kill himself and I was super angry. I was super damn angry. And I was also angry to her sister because she was also pushing him. But I didn't really make her the main character because she was a bit more silent person than Jennifer was. So we had a big talk about Jennifer and I was actually super mad. I was telling him that you should seriously ignore Jennifer. She's so mean and she's so idiot for trying to make an nine years old kill himself. I was super angry. Like I was actually super angry. I was really insulting Jennifer to him this, this time and he was insulting her as well then something started to like something started really to smell rotten at this point and i was like hmm that's so weird like at this point i kind of tried to like maybe catch up from his lies or something 
but I really like I did not push him to do that. I more like wanted him to talk himself in the back, which is a saying in Finnish. Basically, you talk to yourself in the back so you cannot get out of there anymore. I did not ask questions about his depression or Jennifer itself. I was more like, how did you play Star Stable? Like actually, and he was like, yeah, I have a pony, or well, my fam family has a pony. I was like. Oh, what's that? What's that pony's name? What is the breed? And he said, yeah, it's a new forest. And this name was, I already forgot what the name was, but it was the most basic, most common nickname in Finnish as possible. It was maybe like Candy or something like this. I think it was even Candy in Finnish. I was like, yeah, but what is the real name? And the thing why I asked about this was to confirm if he was lying about this pony, because if you give a real name of a horse, you can actually Google the register of the horse, like if it's a real, what is the breed and when it has it been born and that stuff. So I could like Google if there really exists this pony and see if he's lying. And he was like, yeah, it's the candy, like that's the real name of it. And I was like, dude, you're just bullshitting me at this point, like, is everything, like, did you lie to me before as well, like, this pony is not a real pony, they have a real name, it's not a candy, it must be like, they have a breeding name, there is no such a new forest name as candy in Finland or anywhere in the world, probably, he got caught of lying, I was actually speechless at this point, I started to think that if he can lie about a horse like this, what is the light of other things, because as I said, it started to feel like rotten, that some things were kind of rotten, but again, it was nine years old and I did not want to question or someone's depression, you know. In the same evening, uh, Jennifer contacts me and she is like, you know what, I know that you're trash talking me behind my back, and I was like, okay, to who? And she was like, to learn, he told me everything. And I was like, of course he did. I knew something was super off. And then she was like, oh yeah, because Leonie is my sister. And we have pieces next to each other all the time. So yeah, mm, this was great. So basically for five, six months, they keep lying to me about nine years old boy's depression and trying to kill himself. You know, that's not really normal. Like, that's, that's a bit weird, you know? I'm right now, <laughs> even right now, I'm a bit speechless. I don't know what I'm supposed to say about this. I'm like, that you and your sister have super <laughs> good mental health. If you can lie, that stuff. With a serious face. And then just laugh it off and you tell someone that, yeah, it was a lie. And what makes me even more speechless is to think that this girl still keeps going with this bullshit. But actually, this learning account is now this her sister's main account. So basically, they keep bullying people and lying this stuff all the time, even still. While well, I only wanted to come in my club and the first time was to try to make as many people to leave because that would make competition smaller from me against them. He wanted to get in my club to make this first member who switched from there to mine to leave from my club because they were just so jealous and he was also sniffing the places like the events and then she was telling me all the time this how she tries to kill herself to make me feel bad and just ignore what she had tried to do. After nine years they still keep going with this bullshit all the time is something I will never understand. They must be overacting at this point. They are really, they might be even in their 20s since I am as well. This was the story time. I have a lot of story times, but I don't really have more about Star Stable Online. So if you want to see more of my in real life drama, uh, leave a comment or a like so I know you want more of my story times because I have so many things to tell. Leave a subscribe if you want to see more of my content. We will see in the next video. So bye bye.